Hi, I'm Jessica Rose from the London Jewellery School and I'm going to show you a few tips for stringing beads. So to start with when you're stringing beads, there are a few different materials that you can use. Um, some of the most popular ones are a nylon wire, which is just a thin 100% nylon wire, which is also used for fishing cord. And that's one of the core stringing materials that we use in beading and stringing beads. Um, another material that you can use is a tiger tail wire or a coated wire and this is normally a coloured wire, sometimes it's just um, steel coloured or sometimes it comes in different colours and the difference between this one and the nylon wire is that it's thicker and normally stronger so it's basically a steel wire that's coated in nylon um, so if you have much heavier beads or you're having a necklace that overall is going to be quite heavy then it's better to use a stronger wire. Also if you're doing illusion necklaces or floating necklaces where you're going to see the wire then you might want to show the colour coming through. Um, another thing that you can use for stringing beads is elastic wire and elastic is great for doing like stretchy bracelets and things like that. Um, generally speaking, I usually recommend using at least one millimetre thick elastic wire. You can get 0.5, but it's quite thin um, and so is more likely to break while you're wearing it. Um, the only problem with one millimetre elastic wire is that you need to make sure that the beads have a hole that's big enough um, that's going to fit over it and not all beads do, so that's the only sort of restriction. But elastic is another way of stringing beads. And finally, um, it's slightly different to stringing, but using wire, um, so silver plated wire, or you can have gold plated wire. You also get silver wire, um, gold filled wire, and gold wire, but that's very expensive. Um, and it comes in different thicknesses. So this is a 0.4 millimeter thickness of wire. And I don't know if you can see, but this one is slightly thicker. It's a 0.8 millimeter. And the wire sizes in the UK go up um, in twos. Uh, so you'll have 0.2, 0.4, 0.6, 0.8, and so on. You can get 0.3s, um, 0.1s, but they're less common. Um, so normally you get them going up in twos. Um, and they're the main materials that you use for stringing beads. So the different stringing material that you use will really just depend on the beads that you're using and the project that you're making. So obviously the wire, um, the silver wires, have a stiffer look to them, but that can also give a lot of structure to a piece. Um, and the other wires are normally covered up completely by the beads, so the nylon wire and the elastic. Um, and they're a bit more flexible. So it really just depends on what you're doing. Um, but I'd say definitely have a go and use all different ones and experiment and see what is best for your jewellery making. So whether you're doing necklaces, bracelets or whatever project you're working on, those are just some tips to help you get started on stringing beads.